What's with that very happy face? Hi, Ned. Hmm, it was great meeting old and new friends in school, and I'm making this friendship bracelet for them. How's your school, Ned? It was fun meeting my teachers, Lucy. I understood my lessons better now that I met them face to face. That is so cool, Ned. What about your classmates? Did you get along with them really well? Yes, of course, Lucy. But... Hmm, what is it? A new friend asked me to skip math class and join him to play with his new video game. Oh, Ned, that sounds horrible. And you sound as if... Wait, did you do it? Of course not, Lucy. No, 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 I didn't do it. But he got mad at me. I don't know if he still wants to be my friend. Oh, don't be sad, Ned. You chose right by not skipping class. You know what? Let me pray for you and your new friend. Dear God, thank you for always being with us both in good times and in bad times. Thank you for the courage you gave Ned not to do the wrong and sin against you. We want to pray for Ned's new friend also. Please help him realize that skipping class is wrong. We pray that you would help Ned reach out to him and share about your goodness so that his friend will find guidance in you also. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for teaching and helping Ned and all of us to choose to do good every time. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hi, kids. I'm glad you are tuning once again at Kids Hub Online. Have you ever been in the same situation as Ned, being asked to do something that is wrong? Has someone asked you to pinch a playmate just for fun? Has your brother or sister asked you to lie to mom and dad to cover up the things he did wrong? Did you have the courage to say no? Loving God means saying no to things you're not supposed to do. And that's exactly what Joseph did. Our lesson for today is from Genesis chapter 39. And it tells us the story of how Joseph chose to do the right thing. Let's watch this video. Thank you. 
The Faithful Hall of Fame, Joseph. This is Joseph, hey, who was the son of Israel and Rachel. Ah. He was his father's favorite, so his brothers hated him oh. and sold him into slavery. Yeep. You see, Joseph was taken to Egypt, Ooh. and Potiphar, one of the Pharaoh's officials, bought him for his household. God was with Joseph, and he did well in Potiphar's house. Oh. Potiphar saw that God made everything Joseph did a success. Aha. So he put Joseph in charge of his whole house. Yeah. And God blessed Potiphar's house because of this. Potiphar's wife saw how well Joseph was doing in the house, and she wanted to make him do bad things. Joseph ran away from her because he wanted nothing to do with someone who would try to make him do the wrong thing. This made Potiphar's wife angry, and she wanted to be rid of Joseph. So she lied and made Potiphar believe that Joseph had done the bad things that she wanted him to do. Potiphar burned with anger against Joseph and sent him to prison. While Joseph was in prison, again, he did well and the warden soon made him responsible for all that was done there. God was with Joseph and gave him success in whatever he did. Hello kids, it's me, Ned, your memory verse king. It's really a horrible experience when you are caught in a situation like I did in school. It's been more than two years since the pandemic. I really missed my classmates and I'm excited to have new friends, especially now that we are back in school. I'm afraid I might lose my friend because I didn't do what he told me to do. But like Joseph, I trust that God will take care of my situation. He even reminded me of the Bible verse which I'll share with you today. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. My child, sinners will try to lead you into sin, but do not follow them. Now let's say that verse again very slowly. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. My child, sinners will try to lead you into sin, but do not follow them. Now let's say that verse a little faster. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. My child, sinners will try to lead you into sin, but do not follow them. Now it's your turn to say the verse as fast as you could. Ready kids? One, two, three, go! Proverbs chapter 1 verse 10. My child, sinners will try to lead you into sin, but do not follow them. Great job kids! Keep practicing! Hello again, kids! Welcome to Pop Quiz! Now let's see how fast your brain is this time and show me what you've learned by answering the following questions. Ready, kids? For question number one, what happened to Joseph after he was sold as slave by the Ishmaelites to Potiphar, who is the captain of the palace guards in Egypt? A. Joseph was dishonest in serving Potiphar. B. Joseph ran away and escaped Potiphar with his cloak. C. Joseph became a successful man. Potiphar allowed Joseph to be his personal servant and he put him in charge of the house and everything that he owned. You are right, kids! The correct answer is C. Genesis chapter 39 verse 2 says, The Lord was with Joseph and he became a successful man. 
This means that Joseph put God first in everything and God was faithful to his promises and blessed him more than what he can imagine. Well, these are all part of God's plan. Second question. What did Joseph do when he was asked by Potiphar's wife to do something bad? A. Joseph said yes and did what Potiphar's wife asked him to do. B. Joseph said no to Potiphar's wife. He didn't do it. C. Joseph left Potiphar's house. You are correct if your answer is... B. Joseph didn't do it. In Genesis chapter 39 verse 9, Joseph said to Potiphar's wife, How can I do such an evil thing? It is a sin against God. Joseph respected his master and he knew that he would not just be sinning against Potiphar, but to God whom he loves in the very first place. For our third and last question, how did Potiphar's wife react when Joseph refused to do the bad thing she asked him to do? A. Potiphar's wife was so angry with Joseph and she lied by telling Potiphar that Joseph did a bad thing. B. Potiphar's wife told Joseph that it is okay. C. Potiphar's wife was so happy and gave Joseph some gold. The correct answer is A. Potiphar's wife was so angry and lied to Potiphar and made Joseph thrown to prison. You did well, kids! Thank you and see you again for the next episode of Pop Quiz! In our story today, what can we say about Joseph? Joseph put God first. He is trustworthy, worked hard for his master, Potiphar. He is honest and brave enough to say no in doing bad things because he loves and honors God. Despite doing the right thing, do you think it's fair for him to be thrown in prison? I think everyone agrees with me when I say no, it's not fair, not at all. But Joseph did not complain. Instead, he trusted God in all situations. And once again, God shows his faithfulness to Joseph and continued to bless him because of God as a special plan for him. So, whenever you are caught in a situation like Joseph or Ned, be courageous to do the right thing. It's not always easy to do the right thing. Sometimes, people may make fun of you or even reject you as a friend. But the Bible tells us that God's opinion is more important than anyone else's opinion. And remember that no matter what happens, God loves you and will always take care of you. He is always in control and He always knows what is best for you. Even when things don't make sense at the moment, you just have to trust Him because His plans are always good. Let us end in prayer. Dear God, thank you for the story of Joseph today. Help us to be as brave as he is in choosing to do what is right in whatever situation and not to sin against our family, friends, others, and most especially against you, Lord. Help us to trust you with your plans in our lives. Thank you for your love and faithfulness to us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's it! Tune in next week to learn more about how God continued to be faithful to Joseph by blessing him and keeping his promises. See you next week. Bye!